I have just made a hole in my bank account. You could buy anything you want on this game with the amount of stuff I've just given you. Look at how many V-Bucks I've just bought, Sam. Yo guys, it's Lee. You have joined me today where I am feeling very, very, very generous. I'm guessing you've seen by the title, today I am going to be buying my friend some V-Bucks. Basically, I've set up a treasure hunt using this bad boy. This is the HP Sprocket. Now, what this is, is a little portable printer for your phone. And literally, all you do is take a picture on your phone, send it to the HP Sprocket using the HP Sprocket app, and you can literally just print a picture from your phone straight to this little bad boy. And I've named this Sid. Sid the HP Sprocket. I'm going to go around my house. House with Sid and we are gonna print out pictures of locations where I am placing clues around my house and basically with these clues there are challenges so every single location in the house that he has to go to he has to complete a challenge to proceed on to the next step and once he has completed everything there will be a prize at the end of the treasure hunt which is the V-Bucks you guys know this he doesn't but right now me and my good old pal Sid the HP Sprocket we're gonna go outside take a picture on my phone of my garden and print it out straight from the bottom of that. I think I'm actually going to put a hat on as well because my hair's a mess. So as you can see, I'm in my garden. There's my little pretty rabbit. And on this sheet of paper, I have wrote, peg up five washing items in one min. Yes, I know my writing is awesome. Please leave me alone. And you are going to out my head. You are going to go in there. As you can see right there, there's a picture of my garden. Literally, all you have to do is press the print button. And it's that simple. It processes your picture and sends it straight to that little bad boy. It's literally just like a normal printer. You will see the picture to print out of the bottom. He's looking gorgeous. And there you have it. So this is the first location for Sam. He needs to come out in the garden and find the first clue which is there. And with that clue will be the, a picture of the second location. So Sam will have to find this clue, do the challenge and then move on to the next location which is right there. So this is Sam everybody. Hello Samuel. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? Um, Sam. Sam's been on a video once before. You played football, didn't you? We did the like penalty shootout thing. He's the one that's going to be taking on this bad boy treasure hunt. How are you feeling? You ready for it? You know what I'm saying? It's just a treasure hunt. Isn't it? It's just a treasure hunt. Just, isn't it? just, treasure hunt. just a treasure hunt. Okay. This is a picture of the first location. Now, you know where that is in my house, so I'm just going to follow you, you're going to go do it, and then all you have to do, find the clue, do the challenge, and Bob's your uncle. You see, guys, look at how I have to hold my camera as well, just because Sam's like seven feet tall. There, there you go, is that better? Hello, sir. Right, so where is the first location, Sam? That is your back garden. Yeah, we're going to find out. Mind the noise of the motorway. Yeah, at the moment, oh, yep, yeah, there's, there's a washing line. Ah! It's wet. What does it look like? What's Just it a sticky note with writing on it. And that's my pretty bunny rabbit. Oh, you're getting warmer. Is it in here? I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Oh. Hey. hey. <laughs> that's the first one. So what's that say? Peg up five washing items in one minute. In one minute. So I'm going to count hey. down and you have to run to... Hold on a minute. This is cheating. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you steady? On three. One, two, three. Go. Right. One, two, three, four. Five. Why do I have to count? Why did I not say time? You, you can do one. what you want. You just need to peg up five items. What's the peg? Come on. Um, I mean, I think they're under the towels. Hang up my washing. Come on, you've got this. Oh, that's, that's, that's one. Come on. <laughs> that's two. I'm not going to lie. I've got no idea how long you've got left. But Go. come on, you've got this. Three towels done on the fourth. Oh, there's the peg. Come on. <laughs> what is that? What's this? <laughs> do I have to hang these up? You can hang that if you want. The last towel. Here we go, the last towel. Oh, and he's done it. Give me some, boy. My G's done it. Oh, oh, so now you're using the pegs, are you? Ah, okay, right. <laughs> Can anybody leave it in the de in the description now? Leave it in the comments. What is that? Just watch it up. Oh! <laughs> Sam, you did it in a minute Forget and that. I'm not really sure. So many seconds or minutes. Wasn't really counting. But you guys can let me know in the comments below if he did it. With that clue that you just picked up out of there, there was a picture for the next location. So you need to go get that picture and take me to the next location. In where it was? In the rabbit hutch. Oh, oh there's a towel there. It's your bedroom. That is indeed my bedroom. So where could the next clue be? In your bedroom. Oh, yes. <laughs> next challenge. Put on as many pairs of socks in one minute. This is a picture of the next location. This is my kitchen. I'm going to print this off right now to put with this so that Sam can see the clue and the clue of where the next location is.
Ta-da! What I'm going to do is stick the location on the back of this sticky note. And I'm going to be creative with this one, guys. This sticky note is going to go all the way up there, if I can make it stick, like that. Hopefully that doesn't fall, because if that falls, then this challenge has gone wrong. But I've got to see if Sam can find it. I mean, he's pretty tall, so if he doesn't find it, then I think there's something wrong. Sam, you have the photo of my bedroom right there. Yeah. Now I'm going to follow you. We're going to go on a conquest together, and we're going to complete the next stage of the challenge. Does it get hard and hard? Uh, it's a leak in script video, so probably not. <laughs> Run up the stairs. Oh, that's my bedroom. Mm. So it's in here somewhere. Somewhere. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> hmm. How about you close your eyes? Are you going to be hiding? Yeah, just, just close your eyes. Okay, okay. Yeah, keep them close. Oh, for God's sake, I knew it was going to fall. I mean, I mean, not fall. Um, it just jumped. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello. Uh, where is the clue now, then, sir? It's gone. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, yeah, you look. You like... said it fell. No, I didn't. I said it jumped. Yeah. Where are you going then? Where are you going, Tiger? Mm. Yeah, it jumped from my dressing gown. <laughs> it jumped from there to there. <laughs> ah. Um, I'm afraid that's the wrong one. <laughs> it's not there. Well done, Sam. There you go. Right. What's that challenge, sir? Put on as many pairs of socks in one minute as I can. Oh yes, you know it. And there's a picture of the kitchen. That is the next location. The so next keep location. that safe. Right, Sam. Trainer socks, I know you've got massive feet and mine are small. They're on me. Yeah, you, Sam's got really big feet and I've got really small feet. You know what to say about big feet? Big socks. And they're not going too thick because they're really small socks. I'll give you a wide selection of socks. How many socks do you have? Mate, you can never have enough socks, I'm telling you. If you get all these socks on in a minute, then you are superhuman. But if you take a seat, this time I'm going to set a timer on my phone. Am I alright to line them up? Um, if you want, you can do tactics. My ammunition. Yes, okay. Set these for one minute. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you steady? Three, two, one. Go! You've got this, come on. Right, 59 seconds, 58 seconds, 57. Oh, oh my god, it only goes halfway. Come on, you've got this. You've got this. Please don't stretch my socks because I really like socks okay. as well. Right, there we go. We've got two pairs on. Two pairs. That's two and a half. It's only half, Sam. Uh, it's on half of your foot and it's half a sock. Come on, come on. You've got 36 seconds. Are you even counting? That's three pairs. I think it's three pairs, but we can count after anyway. Get about that. You've got 27 seconds, 25. Come on, you've got this. You've got this. I believe in you. You can do it. You're doing well. You deserve right. some food after this. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are getting strangled. You've got this, come on. Oh, 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 seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, that noise is so annoying. Listen. That just reminds me of mornings. So, Sam, now you have to take these socks back off again. Oh, can I have a go? Thank you. <laughs> now you're going to take them off and count how many you did. That's one. One pair. And two, two pairs. Three pairs. <laughs> I feel like you did four. Four pairs? Is that it? Oh, no. no way, you did five. Wait, did you do four and a half? Are you going to steal what? my socks? <laughs> Dude, that's is that five. five? Yeah, that's five. Is that your actual sock? Five okay. and a half. Five and a half pairs. All right, g give me some of that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Blow it up. Blow it up. Shh. <laughs> well done, Sam, on that one. You got five and a half pairs in one minute. But you have the picture for the next location. So where did you say the next location was? That's your kitchen. That is indeed my kitchen. So let's move along to the kitchen, boys and girls. So this is my kitchen. And this is a picture of the next location. This is the spare bedroom. So obviously, I'm going to print this out right now. There we are. Thank you, Mr. HP Sprocket, for printing this beautiful photo. This, right, is going to go in here, stood up right there. Uh, okay, never mind, it's not. So I'm gonna stand. Oh, that's upside down. I'm gonna stand that up there because the reason is, guys, this says drink me. You see that? Vinegar. Yep, yep. I'm just gonna put that right there. Sam, I'm very, very sorry, but I know you've drank vinegar before because we did it in a video a very long time ago that you guys have not seen, but we have drank vinegar before, so I hope you enjoy. So Samuel, you can take me to my kitchen, although I know where it is. We're gonna go down the stairs. Dun, 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 dun. Then. So, right. what are you saying? Right? What do you it could think? be anywhere. There's so many cupboards. It in this could place. indeed be anywhere. Because there be so many cupboards in this place. You've got to find the little picky printed out by the little HP sprocket and the little challenge for little you to do, even though you're very tall. Yep, go on, jump. <laughs> yep, Sam, right. you're that size. <laughs> Look at how tall I am. I can't reach up there. Oh, there's some crackers up there. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, that's the spare bedroom, isn't that it? That is a picture of the spare bedroom. Drink me, I can't really drink a work so. Uh I mean, you can try, look, I'll have a go. It tastes like salt. So 
This one. That one. Just this one. Just that one. Mm. All of it, all right of now. It. All of it. Yeah, just see it off, Sam. Wait, wait, I'll get you a drink, because you're going to need a drink after this. Probably, yeah. Would you like some water? It's very healthy. I'll get you some H2O. Done, there you go, sir. Now, all you have to do is take it away. Take it like a man. You know, you've got this, you've got this. Oh, oh smell no. That, smell that. Okay, 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 you can do that much. I'm not gonna let you do more than that. Fine, that's no, fine. stop it, Sam, I can smell it, it stinks. Hmm, how do I do this? You mad, bro. I'm gonna snap my tooth. Guys, I'm just gonna show you. That's how much he has on the spoon. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I don't like it, I don't like it, have a drink, please, please, have a drink. Oh, oh I can still taste oh, it. I commend you for that, that's disgusting. I just, like, played it off as if nothing happened. I'd been screaming down my street I if I did that. Too. Right, Sam, next clue, you had a picture, where is it? Guest bedroom. Guest bedroom. Yeah. Let's go. This is the spare bedroom. Here's a picture of the next location, this is the loft that you guys will have seen in the previous video, my new loft. And the challenge to do for this location is the chubby bunny challenge, but with custard creams. Just because I don't have ice cubes, so I resort to custard creams. Oh, there we go. I can hear him. My good old pal, Sid the Sprocket. Mm, I see you. And there we go. Thank you, Mr. Sid the Sprocket. You've been a real good help today. I'll put it on top of the wardrobe there. And that is sticking. Right, Sam. You have the picture of the spare bedroom? Mm -hmm. Right there. Let's go. I know where it is. It's your house. It is my house indeed. Oh my god. Okay. Just fell up the stairs. Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> and up we go. There it is. There's the spare bedroom. Oh, yeah. yep. All right, Pastor. Search for it. Right. Search for it. Ooh, London, New York, and a pretty light. Mm, not under the pillow. We've got a clue. Um, you're tall. <laughs> How's was that? <laughs> Gee, thanks. You are very tall. You are very tall, Sam. Oh. <laughs> What's the challenge? Chubby bunny challenge with custard creams. Oh, yeah, boy. Do do it? Well, it's a custard cream challenge, isn't it? Well, Okay, never mind. <laughs> I've got a good old selection of custard creams because I love custard creams. So, Samuel, the custard creams are in hither. Okay. So, Sam, you're gonna have 30 seconds on the clock to do the chubby bunny challenge with custard creams. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right. Three, two, one, go! You've got this. That's one. Oh my god, that looks like a little struggle. Oh. oh, that actually does look like a real big struggle. You've got two. That's three. You've got an eight seconds left. That went so quick. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Right. There you go. You're done. You all right there? Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sam. You can spit them out. But how do you feel after that one, Sam? My mouth feels really baggy now. Are you prepared for the next challenge? I'll ask the question. Yeah. You, you <laughs> don't even know where we're going, do you? <laughs> you? Don't know where we're going. Never mind. Samuel, yeah. you need to get the next location because we need to know where we're going. So I'm going to walk up the stairs backwards, which is very dangerous That's when you can't see where you're going. <laughs> you fell up going forward. Yep, I did. But I'm awesome, you see. Get the picture. Oh dear. Oh, that's pretty close. That is. That's your loft. The loft indeed. So up the stairs we go. I meant up the ladders without banging your head. Ah! Uh, I just scraped my back on the door handle. Oh gee. Oh. So here I have the picture printed by Sid, the HP Sprocket. And here I have the challenge. Guys, this challenge says, do emotes from a certain game. So I want you guys to leave down in the comments below what game you think that is. I just want to play a little quiz with you guys, see if you know me. So what Sam has to do for this next challenge is do emotes from a certain game. I'm going to place these, which is going to be quite hard. But I want to place them, like, out of the window. You know what? I'll just hang them there. They're chilling. Look, right there. That's where they are. Ah! Oh, there we go. Ooh! What a nice shot that is. So Sam, I know you're very tall. You can find a clue. I'm just going to chill here, you know. Satcheling, you can find a clue. And okay. have fun. Try not to bang your head along the way. Oh. You're kind of cold. Okay. Just kind of so cold. this way then, yeah? Yeah, you're getting, getting kind of warm. Yeah. Kind of warm. Oh, now you're freezing. I just went from cold to freezing. Yeah, it's freezing now. <laughs> now you're really, really cold. Oh, wow, oh, you are. Really? Oh, you might as well get in a fridge freezer, bro. What? Oh, okay, yeah, that's even colder. <laughs> oh, that's so cold. It's just right cold in this oh, <laughs> oh, that's even colder. Oh my god, you are freezing. Oh, you are freezing. <laughs> oh no, you are really. Oh, bye then. You are absolutely. If you were in Antarctica, you would be an iceberg. How do I know that you've not flipped the scales? Hold on then. So cold means I'm close. Flip. 
Nah, you're very cold. Maybe a bit hot. Mm, nah, no, I've changed no, my mind. No. Keep getting a little bit. Nah, nah, you keep getting a bit colder again. Can okay. you feel that breeze? Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, there you go, you've got it. Do emotes from a certain game, Winky Face. I think I know what game it is. We've got a picture of your bathroom. And that is the next location. The picture of the bathroom. downstairs bathroom. Okay. So, I'm going to give you three seconds on the clock to okay. do as many emotes as possible from this certain game, which you definitely know what it is. And three, two, one, go! One! <laughs> uh, Two! <laughs> three! Four! Uh, five! Six! Um, <laughs> you, 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 you actually did so well! I think like like you should have a go at some of them. Right, 30 seconds on the floor. Ready? Three, two, one, go! One! one. Two! <laughs> three! <laughs> and then... I'm <laughs> one! This is the one! No, I'm not having the clap! The clap! <laughs> and this one! There's rock paper scissors! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Personally, I think I smashed it. Right, Sam, well done on that challenge. Thank you. you did amazing. <laughs> now you're going to take us down to the downstairs bathroom. Yes. Where the next clue is. Oh, oh that was pretty hey, good. That flew miles. Use HP sprocket papers and they fly like frisbees. Free, what's a frisbee? Dun, 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 dun. So in here I have the challenge which is the accent challenge I also have a picture of my living room right here to print off right now because this is the next location Thanks Sid You're a good man so basically what I'm thinking of doing for this one is getting the picture on there and sticking it on the inside of the toilet. Let's make sure there's no poo in there. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so if I stick it like that, it's just hanging out. So Sam can just see that there. All he's got to do is lift the lid up and Bob your uncle. There is the challenge and there is the next location. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just going to jump down just to be... Nice. Wait for me to get down. I wish it were like a little shoot thing. You know, like on, te on Teletubbies where they just jump down that thing. I wish I were a Teletubby. Samuel, downstairs toilet. Yeah. Let's go for a poo. All right. Switch on the light. It's a bit of a confined area. Mm. Oh, no. It's on the it's mirror. Not behind it's not behind the tower rack either. You have not used a window this time. <laughs> I may have used some other apparatus. <laughs> I think I found it. Just tickle it. <gasps> oh, no. No. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh. Right, I think I can read it from here. Right, so what's that say? Um, now nah, too many bubbles. I think we're in a bit of a predicament. It says accent challenge, so the challenge for this one is the accent challenge. But the only problem is the picture for the next location is now in the toilet. So <laughs> let's go in the toilet. Woo! For now, I guess. Right, how good do you think about accents? Not good at all. Right, anyway, Irish accent. This is something that my friend Adam B says a lot, and I say to him, what's the crack, you wee mucker, in an Irish accent? Or Northern Ireland? Okay, what's the wee <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll give you an example. This is what I always say to Adam. I always go, what's the crack, you wee mucker? <laughs> what did you say? What's the crack, you wee mucker? Okay, ready? What's the wee crack, you mucker, wee mucker? <laughs> Now, you're gonna have to do a Scouse accent and do the same thing. What's the crack, you wee mucker? I don't know how to do Scouse. Uh, yeah, me neither, but I just want to see it happen. <laughs> What's the crack, you wee mucker? What's the crack, you wee mucker? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Now, you have to do what's the crack, you wee mucker, in Scottish. What's the crack, you wee mucker? <laughs> you all need to leave in the comments down below how good you think mine and Sam's accent attempts are while Sam's just sat in the toilet. Leave it down in the comments below. Let's move on to the next location, which is the living room, but it's in the toilet. So, guys, this is my living room. I have the picture for the next location, which is my conservatory. So, I'll press this one simple button, and then it gets ready to print. The next challenge is the whisper challenge challenge. Thank you very much Sid, much appreciated. And I think I'm gonna stick this one inside this lampshade. We're kind of sticking up like that so hopefully it doesn't drop off. Hopefully we'll be able to see that when he comes in. Right, so go on and search, it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. The whole no clue. Room. No, um, well I don't know, you could be boiling hot or freezing cold. No, it's one of the two. Um, I would say that you are boiling, steaming hot. If you were stood next to the sun, you would be hotter than yeah, the sun. Yeah, but I know you and I know that that means absolutely nothing. Well, it's still hotter than the sun. Hold on, let me just let me just check. 
<laughs> oh, jeez, you are really hot. Mm -hmm. Come on, mm -hmm. no, not under there. Nope, not under there. Oh, mm, nope, not under there. <laughs> oh, oh dang. No, no, that's not it, I'm afraid. Okay. So what's that one say, Sam? Whisper challenge. So that is your challenge, and where is the next location? Conservatory. Conservatory, so make sure you keep that safe. For now, I will go get you some headphones so that I can play some music and talk to you and do the whisper challenge. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what the whisper challenge is. It's like one of the most generic YouTube challenges ever, and Sam has never done it before, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make him do it. Sam, punk on those headphones. Okay, it says something. Samuel. Okay. The HP sprocket is called Sid. The biggest rocket <laughs> is the tree. <laughs> the HP sprocket is called Sid. The. Say it again, say it. The first. HP sprocket. Oh, the HP sprocket. <laughs> this rocket is mint. <laughs> I've got to say it quite quiet because I don't want to shout it, but what's the crack we macro? What's red? No. <laughs> what's the crack we macro? <laughs> Guys, get ready for this one. I'm not even going to say anything. Sprocket. <laughs> Is sprocket right for the first word? Yeah. Should we say yeah? HP sprocket. It's good, innit? It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good, innit? It's good. <laughs> That's not the thing. What are you saying? <laughs> is this is this all the same thing? <laughs> Yeah. I gave you 10 points for that. Well done. So for this one, we're in the conservatory. The challenge for this one, I'm being nice to Sam. Sellotape anything to Lee's head. Not sure how you spell sellotape. I don't know if that's right. I have no idea how you spell sellotape. So I also have on here the picture of the next location, which is the stairs, because that is where the next challenge is going to be. Hello. Right, so there we go. The picture is printed of the stairs. With this one, guys, I'm going to try and be really creative. Hello. Oh, that's perfect. Right there. There we go. I'm not disturbing the fish. That's okay. And shut that. It'll be gone soon. Don't worry. Follow me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 there. I, I, I did a magic trick. So basically, this is like um, stretchy glass. So you can press on it a bit and it pushes stuff through. Okay. Don't hurt the fishies. Well, we've got a picture. Picture. That sure. is the stairs. That's the next location. Sell tip anything to Lee's head. Yeah, I thought I'd be nice. And I let him sell tape something to my head because I've already made him drink vinegar. You know, that's not exactly a fun thing to do. So you can choose any item that you want. Preferably not like a, not the iron. Because I can't carry that on my head. But preferably something like small and then you can sell tape it to my head. What about a remote? You can do a remote if you want to do a remote. Okay, let me get you some tape. Right. Okay. There you go. So, Think about I'll just stand here like a, a gorgeous like model. That, like, right. Yeah. You want that. Perfect. Hello. Ring, ring. Oh, dear. Oh, oh the noise is awful. Oh, the noise. Oh, okay. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, what's happening? There. Right. Well, <laughs> this is how it's going down then, is it? So, that's that's that challenge done. Now I've got a, a TV remote stuck to my head, so... Ah! Make sure you subscribe and touch the remote. Turn the TV on. Kapow, bro. So, that challenge has been done in the conservatory. You got a picture for the next location, which is the stairs. Oh, where are you slotting that? Just there. You can keep it there for me. Right, but yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> so, guys, this is the challenge for the stairs. Land a bottle flip from the top of the stairs. So from the top to the bottom. Yep, I know, that sounds crazy. Now, this is a photo of the next location, and you're probably thinking, what is that? This is Sam's bedroom, and the prize at the end of the treasure hunt is in this room. So, that is why this is there, and I'm going to print it out now for the next location. You got it. And there we go. So now I'm going to stick this on there again and stick it to the wall right there. So now all Sam has to do when we eventually do this treasure hunt is find that bad boy. Right, Samuel, to this stairway. So it could be here, because this is like the stairway oh. area. Or it could be here. Or it could be there. Or it could be there. It could be there. <laughs> or it could also be there, where everything else is. So go on a search. Do what you want, you know. Just, yeah. just, just be yourself. Be yourself, you know. I'm feeling a bit of a breeze. You know, yeah. it's a bit, of a bit of a cold breeze coming through here. Yeah? Oh, whoa, whoa! Do those steps feel hot? They feel mm. a bit. Ooh, these ones a bit warm. Ooh, yeah. is that one warm? Oh, oh, is that one warmer? Oh, I can feel the heat. It's turning up. Oh my God, your feet must be burning. They must be burning. Oh, your feet must be absolutely red hot. They must be like the sun. Oh my, there we go. He's got it. Land a bottle flip from the top of the stairs. Oh yeah. Dum dum dum. You got a bottle, mate? No, but I've got a TV, man. Right, Sam. Before you do anything, I'm gonna. Take this off because I currently can't really see much. 
Oh no, I need the hat back. <laughs> We are ready, and you are gonna land a bottle flip from there down here. Okay, I'm gonna be the barrier to make sure nothing gets smashed. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, that one didn't work. Let me load, load me back up. Wow. And another one. Oh, I've got this. Oh, you've got this, Sam. Oh. Uh. Okay. I uh, do apologise about that. Go. Okay then. Well, do you know what, Sam? I have an idea. Let me come so, up. So, Sam, hmm? go for it. So Sam, now you can tell me where the final location is. That's my bedroom. That is indeed your bedroom. That's like Sam's bedroom. When did you take that? When I was there the other day. So that kind of means that we have to go to yours because that, my good sir, is where the prize is. Oh, wait, you've hit a prize there. Might have, might not. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh wait, you can't drive us. I've got to drive, okay, okay. We're gonna get in the whip and move over to Sam's to go find this prize. Ow. So Sam, brought you to your bedroom. You're probably wondering, where's your prize? Um, <laughs> there you go. You've got your very own HP sprocket. Got me on Sid. How good is Sid? Sid is awesome, but that is not your prize because that's mine. Thank you. So get off so of that's that. Not that's not a prize. Basically, you know how you did uh, some little emotes earlier for a certain game. I want you to load up that game. All right. Just load it up. I am a very good friend. Just put that on there. I'm a very good friend. Right, so these guys are watching actually know what it is because I told them at the start of the video what I am going to be giving you as a prize for completing a treasure hunt. Right. You just need to load up the game normally and I will make this frown turn upside down. If you're on the home screen. There we go. That's Sam's gorgeous face right there. As you can see, Sam, you have 100 V-Bucks. Wait. Yeah. How would you fancy me giving you three hundred and fifty pounds worth of V books? Three hundred fifty pounds worth of V books. Yeah. What are you gonna say three hundred fifty V books? I'm like three hundred and fifty pounds. If I spent that there and gave you three hundred fifty pounds. You're actually gonna. You're actually gonna. Yeah, because you've helped me today. You got. You got on the treasure hunt. I got you up early to do this treasure hunt, and you did well in it. And I did make you drink vinegar. I sell tip to run lots of it. Kind of yeah, right, right, you're not getting any V-Bucks then. So if you want to go you on know, there, like, as you guys can see, the V-Bucks go from $3.99, $7.99, $19.99, $49.99, $79.99. So I'm going to be buying... Let me just work it out because I'm not very good at maths. I need to use a calculator. I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, I'm back. I, I've worked it out. I'm going to be buying five lots of the $79.99 V-Bucks to, you know, give some... I, I, can't, I honestly can't... A lot of V-Bucks. No, I'm, I'm a nice guy. So right now, I'm going to buy some, some V-Bucks, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you guys how much I bought them. I'm gonna sort them out with, I think it adds up to like 60 something thousand V-Bucks. And that is any gamer's dream, I let me tell you. So I'll be back in a second, you ready? Watch this. Three, two, one. I'll be back in a second. Ha! Hello there! And we are back, and I have just made a hole in my bank account. Sam? I am just the gambler, you. How are you feeling? Like, I'm a bit shaky. Like, I know how much, you know how much I can buy with this. Like, the amount I know. Of I know what you can buy. So, guys. Yeah, I could buy the next battle pass with this. You could buy anything you want on this game with the amount of stuff I've just given you. Guys, look at how much. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> look at how many V-Bucks I've just bought, Sam. Right? Uh, I'm not being funny. If someone tries to tell me I'm not a good friend, then me and you, we're going to be having words. And battles and stuff. Yeah, I was I was poor. I was very poor. I can't believe this. To sixty-seven thousand five hundred V bucks. There's something wrong with you. Why why are you spending this one? There is gotta spread the love and positivity, yo. Give me some skin, fam. That's, that's, that's all for sick. you. Can I can I borrow some please when I come on? Yeah. You know it. <laughs> That's it. Your prize is done. You've yeah. done the treasure hunt. That's your prize. 67,500 V-Bucks. 350 pounds worth of V-Bucks I've just spent on you, bad boy. Oh, man. There you go. So crazy. I hope I you're happy. Advice. Santa's come early for you. And his name's Lee Hinchcliffe. Right, so, Samuel, you've done your treasure hunt. You've got your prize. You yeah. feeling happy? Very happy. 
How do you think the treasure hunt went? Because I went through a lot of creative thinking in my creative mind. My brain is this big, but it's creative. And I used Sid, the HP sprocket, and I printed off every single picture that you possibly looked at for this treasure hunt. Every single location was printed by good old Sid. So tell Sid, what do you think of him? Is Sid cool? Do you think do you like him? Sid's cool. I really like him. Any phone, just a power picture. And if you want to take it anywhere, where do you put it? You literally just slide it in your pocket like that, and there you go, it's gone. Little portable printer. And then wherever you are, take it out, take a photo, connect it to your phone, and crash, bang, out comes a beautiful printed picture by Sid, this HP Sprocket. That's if yours is called Sid, because if you get a HP Sprocket, you're not allowed to call it Sid, because there's only one Sid, and he's there. Good old Sid. <laughs> so yours is going to have to be called, like, Sally. But all in all, you've enjoyed it. You've enjoyed the treasure hunt. Thank you for taking part. Thank you, Sid, the HP Sprocket, for being awesome and printing out the pictures for the treasure hunt. And I hope you enjoyed your, um, your prize, because now you can buy lots and lots of skins. Yes, you can indeed. And so that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go down there and leave a like below if you're new to my channel make sure you go down there and subscribe i would really appreciate it make sure you go to the link in the description get yourself a hp sprocket you saw what i did with it in this video you can do so many things with a hp sprocket good old sid rather than just taking a picture on your phone and printing it out like a selfie or something do some creative stuff with your friends do some challenges do a treasure hunt like me you can do so many things with a hp sprocket so there's a link in the description where you can go check it out buy one for yourself tweet me some pictures that you've took using a hp sprocket Let's connect y'all. Let's let's do a treasure hunt together next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Peace.